Hey there guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Crafty Simmer and we're back with another episode of Let's Craft Evolve. So in the last part we didn't uh, we kinda had like a race uh, um, a, a lucky block race. And I was horrible at it. <laughs> so today I am just gonna go ahead here and start off with the house updates because there's been a few changes to my house. Starting off with the fact that now this room is bigger. I have actually expanded my house and now it's back to what it originally was in terms of sizing. Um, I got this picture here. It's really beautiful. Then, out here, I'm still working on my porch. Um, but... Oops, oh, sorry, but the mic hit there. Um, but this is how my house looks now. I, I think it looks a lot better than what it did. Um, I have to expand this window out by another block, though, um, because it's bothering me. And I gotta make some fixes around the edges, but I mean, for the most part, though, it's definitely a major improvement than what it was earlier. <laughs> it just needs to be cleaned up with the windows and stuff. Also, as well, you guys may notice, too, that the animal, that, that my chickens that were here before are no longer here. Um, we have actually taken out the animal mania mod. <laughs> A lot of people like didn't really like that it just made a lot of things more complicated with raising farm animals. And then, so I have my jeps and my cow. The thing that I've noticed is that my original location for my observatory, which is like over there somewhere, doesn't necessarily work very well. Um, I was trying to craft something and it didn't really work out really well. Um, so I think I might have to move it. I'm not too sure where I'm gonna move it though, because I don't wanna, like, have, like, a really massive, like, you know, area for this stuff. Um, but I am gonna see if maybe this would be- that this might be a more useful area, maybe? Just so that way it's, like, you know, it's still close to me, but it's not, like... And the other thing I thought about, too, is maybe having it built up up here on the clouds. Um, but I feel like that's a lot of work. <laughs> So I, I, like, I kind of want it on the ground, not on like a high mountain, on like clouds, all that kind of stuff. But I do kind of got, but I do have this light well now that I can use to collect liquid starlight. Um, so I think an aquamarine and all that stuff like kind of like works with this. So we are gonna try. So I am gonna try to like, craft another one of these on this thing. And see if that works. Because um, I think this might be a better height than where I was originally. Um, like, I don't want to be too high. You get what I mean? We're going to wait till night. And we're going to see how well this goes over for me. Um, and then I think today, too, we are we are also going to start focusing on the Ars Magica stuff. Um, because, we have a, because we have a pretty important fight coming up here with the Ender Dragon. So I have to do some work to get ready for that, including getting my levels, um, by going to the nether, and getting my armor all enchanted and stuff like that. So I mean, like, there's actually quite a bit of work for preparation. Um, so I do know I have the encyclopedia somewhere for Ars Magica. Yeah, the arcane Componium. I'm not sure this is going to help me much. But you're going to see how this works out for me. my first spell the first to make a spell you will make you first need to create an oculus and unlock at, at least one spell shape and one component you start with three blue skill points to make this possible then to craft the writable book and then craft I'm um, over your inscription table place blah, 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 blah. okay so we need to figure out the oculus Okay, so what's an oculus? We need blue topaz, coal, mossy, uh, some, 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 some stone, it looks like, stone bricks, and glass, which I have all of that stuff. So, we come over here, we're going to grab some, some, uh, blue topaz. Oh, okay. Oh, and then we need another piece of coal. I'm going to put that one away. Okay. I was smelting earlier, um, but as a matter of fact, if I kept my chest organized, that's a whole other thing. I am kind of in the process of just kind of moving my items around now, so like a lot of things are still kind of missing. Unless I merged it with the stone stuff down there, maybe. I might have done that. 
I did, okay. And then we need to craft some stone bricks. Okay. And I need a piece of glass, which might be one which I know is in one of these random chests somewhere. Okay, so we wanna put that there. That there. And then we're going to do that. And then place that right there. Now we made an Oculus. Alright. Next step. To unlock at least one spell shape and one component, you start with three steel points to make this possible. Then craft a writable book and head over to your inscription table. That's another thing I don't have. So this is an Oculus. Kinda creepy. But now we can create but now it looks like we can get a component. So let's see here. So I can do self and regen. And then I can do like a projectile. Okay. So now I have to go ahead and get a inscription table. So let's see there. Spell parchment. Okay, so I need a spell parchment first. I'm pretty sure I have paper lying around. If not, I have like a bunch of sugar cane outside, so we can deal with that too. What else do I need for this thing? Slabs and wood. Okay. So let's see what I have here. I'm pretty sure I had paper, but I can always get more. It's not like a super big deal. Okay. Bop. Bop. Please get a life. Oh no. Yikes. There's a torch. There's a feather. Here's a bunch of slabs I just threw in here because I was working on something yesterday. Okay. So let's see here. So let's make some slabs first. Then we're going to make some paper. Then we're going to make a beautiful thing right here. A parchment. A spell parchment. And then we're going to put together this, um, this beautiful table type thing. So let's put that there. Like that. Like that. Like that. Yeah! A, an, an inscription table now. Everything's kind of a mess, I do apologize, but I am working on getting this all nice and pretty. And then finally, we need a writable book, which we need an ink sack, I'm pretty sure. Um, as you can- okay, so we need- yeah, we need an ink sack. I need a feather, which I have feathers, okay. And I think they're all up here, unless I moved it all down already to my little- to my little workshop for, um, my little fabulous workshop that I have. Oh yeah, I took a bond right fell down here yesterday and he lived. It was it was great. He fell from the top floor and survived. It was great. Like I like I almost screamed. It was fine. My life is okay. <laughs> but anyway, so I do want to test something else out as well with now that it's getting darker outside, we do kinda need to I do kinda need to test something out. Um, so let's go ahead, let's see if we can make another light- oh, wait, I think I'm short on aquamarine crystals. Ooh, that's a thing. So we have to go into the water and get some, uh, aquamarine crystals. Yeah, I'm out of my aquamarine. Okay, we're gonna have to go get- we're, we're gonna have to go and get that. So I do need some more materials for this stuff, like, there's just- there's so much stuff I have to remember. For all of this to work, like having this resonating wand helps. Okay, and let's go check out my aquamarine up here already. 
So Sleep's got it absorbed. Okay, look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. I love it. Okay. So typically to find the aquamarine stuff, it's kind of usually in, like, it's right, yeah, it's this stuff right here. Where are all the aquamarine? Okay, well I have two. That's all I need for this crafting recipe is, is two. So we're gonna head up here to like where like to like where my to, like where my light well is. And I'm gonna craft um how do I craft it again? I can't remember. Okay, so I need ruin, chiseled marble, and a stone okay. So what did I bring? Okay, good. I did bring a stone rock with me this time. Okay, so so we're gonna do it. We're going to put these down here. This oh shoot, I didn't bring I brought normal marble with me. Oh my good lord, how do I oh no. Okay. So let's try this again. So we're halfway full. We're going to chisel. We're gonna put all this in here. We're gonna put that in here, and then we're gonna put this mar uh this chiseled marble in here. I should get that to pop up, and I'm gonna grab my resonating wand and hold up my wand. <gasps> it worked. <gasps> it worked! Yay! Okay. Okay. So I think this will be where we're going to kind of set up our base then, is right here. For um for astral sorcery, I can actually kind of picture this area being like a beautiful observatory. It's gonna be beautiful. I love it. Okay, I'm so happy that this. Okay, I'm so happy this is a good place for me to to, to start building this area. Um, so that's glad that works. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! No 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 no! We do not share. We do not share. There is no sharing, sir. Thank you. I'm gonna take this from you. This I'll share. Oh. Alright, anyways, um, hey there guys. So, we are ending off this episode here. The zombies are coming for me. We're gonna close that door away from him, because he can't come through this way. <laughs> um, so basically what I wanted to do was just kind of end off the episode by doing some showing off. These zombies are kind of vicious outside, so I don't want them to be my enemy. Okay, there we go. Zombies are gone. Most of them are gone. Most of them are gone. Okay, so anyways, so this is the park. It is now currently decorated for Easter. They are going to change the theme, though, for the, um, for spring. So there's going to be, like, like a spring, and then there's going to be an Easter type of theme over here um so yeah and where i was earlier we started off in my shop um which i haven't really done a lot for it though uh looks like blizz is over here building something i'm not sure what he's building though i'm gonna ask yo blizz what you building oh well he's building something here so i'm just gonna let him do whatever over there um, oh, this is new. I haven't seen this yet. This, like, bridge is really cool. The auditorium. Okay. Okay, for, like, our, our, our like, elections and stuff like that. Um, da, da 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 I don't know where Spawn is. That's that, that. This is an issue. Uh, bank slash courthouse, I believe? It's, there's a slash here somewhere. So this is kind of, like, yeah, I, I did these windows, and they look really awesome. I like the windows a lot here. So cute. And over here is the spawn. We have to go to my mail room and accept some letters because I got some mail from Bridget. So this is the... Yeah, this is... Oh my good lord, look at the mail! I have mail. Mail time, mail time. Do, 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 do. <gasps> oh, she gave me Easter lights. So pretty. And this is the letter. Hey, 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 you there. Here are some Easter slash spring fairy lights hearts. Okay, so we got some fairy lights for our, decorate our house for Easter. And then, 
I, oh, this, oh, okay, yeah, no, I'm kind of behind. Okay, so this is for St. Patty's Day, which I didn't participate in, but it's fine. It's fine. And obviously it's St. Patty's Day, have some fairy lights, which, you know, we don't need those fairy lights now, but, you know, it's fun. It's cool. Anyway, so guys, I'm going to end off the episode for today right here. If you guys like this part, don't forget to thumbs up if you have not yet. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and join the graphics squad. Anyways, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next video. <laughs> Bye there, guys!